Okay, so this is going to be a part of a video series where I just cover what I think is uh, the three most important techniques, skills um, to have as a day one white belt. Basically, I want you to be able to have these three uh, skills uh, before you go compete or something. Um, I recommend having these. It will help you a lot in the training and you can basically always train them at open mats or even drilling. And the first skill we're going to look at today is escaping mount. Okay, now this can be very difficult and uh, there's a lot of ways to do it. There's some very fancy looking ways that are hard to do. And there are some simple ones that I use all the time. Uh, even after eight years of training, I still use these regularly, even against really good people. So the first one we're gonna look at is a basic elbow escape where we capture our partner's angle and use that to get back into half guard. So I have Natalia in the mount. Here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our elbows tight to our ribs and we're gonna put a frame on her hips. When we don't wanna extend our arms away from our body, forget everything about this. Keep your elbows tight and start with a frame across both hips here and start by getting an elbow inside her knee. I got it on my right side, that means I'm gonna escape to my right side. From here, if she's sitting tall, I'm gonna do a single leg bridge where I basically plant one leg, lift the knee and bump it forwards on her hands. When she's forward on her hands, her legs are light. Let's rotate. So, look at the bridge here. If she's sitting tall, it's hard for me to move her around and capture an angle. So I plant, knee goes along the spine. I lift my hips, bring her forward to her hands. As soon as I hear those hands hit the mat, I slip this elbow in underneath here. Now I start to turn to my side. I'm gonna use my bottom leg to push out the ankle and I'm gonna look to capture with my heel just right over here. Now I can look to pick this up. When I pick it up, I can lock momentarily here. But what I really want from here is I want to go from the angle to the knee. The way I do that is I make sure I keep my frames. I'm going to plant my top hooking leg here and I'm going to scissor my bottom leg in. So this one steps on the mat, the other leg slides under. My elbow is framing on the inside of her knee and my bottom knee here is retracting. Once I cover that knee with my knee here, now I need to make a hip escape where I move from being on my right hip to my left hip. So I plant my feet, look her, how her knee is covered, and I move my hips out. From here, we're back into a half guard. We can shrimp even further and go into close guard. This is good as Again, a basic drill, maybe you've got something from close guard. Um, you can go there. Stopping in half guard is gonna be the most common thing. Okay, so one more time. Let's just start from this angle. So here, don't frame the upper body. If I could give you just one rule that will help you from here, not getting submitted, is don't frame the upper body. You're just giving her arms, her your arms. Go lower body. My arm is across. My top arm is across both hips. Put this here. Don't let it slide. If this slides, Natalia can go behind me and she can start to take my back. Very bad, okay? If I put it in the most simple terms. So I frame, top arm frames, bottom arm goes inside her knee. So now my elbow is wedged in between uh, her knees, her knee and then my rib. Let's just move a little bit to the left. Okay, so this is in here. She's on her hands. If she's inexperienced, maybe she'll be on her hands right away. If she's uh, more experienced, she'll probably sit back. And here she can start to mess with your hands. So right away, do the single leg bridge. Plant your foot close to your butt, knee along the spine, bring everything forward. When you hear those hands hit the mat, that's your time to go. I want to move her knee, foot outside her knee. So look how my bottom leg pushes out here. Now my top leg is going to do a catch, my heel around her ankle, and I'm going to scissor in. 
I'm not going to stay here for long. I'm going to pull her foot back with my top knee and look at my bottom knee here. I have wedge it in and I kind of scissor it. So I plant my foot and I can lift her knee off the mat. Now my knee goes on the inside and covers her knee. Now it's time to move. I plant my feet and I keep escape out to my right. So I go from right to left hip and I'm in half guard now. Ready to go on the attack. Okay. This is uh, the most basic mount escape there is. There is the trap and roll mount escape. But if you're meeting someone who's bigger than you, or they have good base, it's not going to get you too far. This escape works on all, at all levels, on all different kinds of body types of body types. It's not dependent on a big explosion. You just need to work this single leg bridge here, and then you go. Okay, so spend time on this. Don't spend too much time on the trap and roll. It's a good, very basic defense, but it's not gonna help you as much in the long run as this knee elbow escape is gonna do. In, in the next video uh, about mount escapes, I'll cover the inside elbow escape, which is gonna be a little bit more explosive. And it's the second escape I use once this uh, fails. And maybe in the future I'll cover kipping escapes, but for right now I'm just gonna stick with these two because those are the ones I use the most. And I would say the ones that are the fastest to learn.